Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play some sports games and this is going to be a baseball game but not an EA sports game so you can probably guess what it is. Rejected. Yeah, this is uh, one of Kobe's many feats that Steve Kerr and Marvel World was so excited about. Okay, sports skipping the intro montage of the in-game players doing amazing basketball stuff, which is, you know, pretty understandable. You don't want to see every year the same kind of montages. I mean, there is a basic limit to the variation that you can produce out of those uh, sequences. So, yeah, so you have it here, NBA 2K10. So this was the only basketball game in town if you own the PC. And even on console versions, this was the game that was a standard basketball for a lot of people. Probably for most people because NBA Live from EA Sports was unfortunately not been doing too well against it. I think they released NBA Live 10, but that probably was the last, I guess, iteration in that particular series. After that, they sort of took a long hiatus that continues until this year. Maybe they're going to come back uh, in the next console generation. And uh, for PC version, this was the only game, not even NBA Jam was released because, you know, at least in console versions, EA saw fit to release NBA Jam on those, uh, but not on PC. Alright, so this is the main menu and you have your standard game mode, online mode, different features. Alright, let's go to the feature and see what kind of features they have. They have something called living rosters and leaderboards and all these features are, these three features are basically tied to the online service that 2K prepared for the game, but unfortunately the online experience was not really optimal in this game, particularly owing to the fact that 2K didn't even see fit to authenticate the server, so even anybody who had this game, including the pirate, basically was able to swamp the servers and render them inaccessible to, you know, paying customers, so to speak. So there was a kind of a fiasco, and I don't think it was ever resolved, basically set the potential of this game even before it was released because Pirates had their hands on it, you know, before it was officially available, especially on Steam. Alright, so Trophy Room, this is, uh, I guess, tracks your achievement. So, if you actually had any kind of uh, integration with the achievement system, it might have been useful, like on console versions, but since it's not... Actually, it unlocked something. Huh. It unlocked some awards, but I don't know why it is. Anyways, Tokyo Beach is your EA tracks equivalent. And now you're listening to Akala, the Edge. Surprisingly enough, this soundtrack has a really eclectic mix of different music licenses. I think 2K just went all out in acquiring all these different licenses. I mean, the soundtrack was even, I mean, it's going to be pretty, you know, not out of place for. What is Yahoo? Who would expect him to be? on a basketball game. Yeah, I have no idea. And MGMT, the music that you're hearing right now, no idea why they would include in basketball game soundtrack. Yeah, this definitely um, isn't some of those music that is kind of weird and seems out of place, but all the kudos to the 2K development team to dig deep and far and wide, casting their net. To acquire all the licenses that they would like to hear instead of what is expected them to include in the soundtrack for a game such as this. Yeah, their musical taste range really far and wide, really. Yeah, all these different art artists, a lot of music licenses that could, you know, not feel out of place in other sports game as well. I mean, other sports such as Football, for example, like or it's international appeal, maybe hockey. Um, not really American football, but yeah, I mean, this is probably your universal 2K Beach feature that could apply for any number of games. Well done. 
and VIP Bureau, I don't know what this is. Uh, you can actually make a reel of your you know, experiences that you can accumulate and save in this game using the replay feature. And you can probably uh, edit it to some degree and share it on 2K web space or cloud so to speak, but cloud service as it is, they are not active anymore. 2K probably ended the service a while ago, so all these features are not useful anymore. All right, so game mode. So situation is where you can basically create a last second shot. You can craft any kind of different situations like half court length, last possession, three pointers, you know, just like Brian did in the intro, last position, defensive play to block the last three point attempt. Yeah, so that's a pretty interesting feature. And of course you can record it and share it on 2K share. The association is probably the franchise season. Is your just the normal mode of playing through a season and perhaps reach the playoffs at each conclusion. Blacktop is uh, the feature in the game that is kind of removed. That feels added on. Could have been released as a DLC. I don't know, but this kind of uh, ties all the activities related to the All Star Weekend festivities. Game of 21 is like kind of your one-on-one -on -one play court game where you can pit one-on-one, -on -one, two to two or three to three players. Pretty flexible in that way. Dunk score, you know, just learning how to dunk because it's a bit different from, um, you know, dunking in the regular game. And my player is a feature that most interests me. This is uh, the feature where you're able to create your alter ego and bring that particular players through the rookie season all the way to being qualified for Hall of Fame at the conclusion of it, probably at the end of 15 to 20 years. Uh, the average length of a career that any successful NBA player can have. And you can also, if you're not good enough, go into NBDL, which is a development league where you can build up your skills and get noticed by other clubs. So it's a really expensive feature. The recent 2K basketball games definitely improved and expanded this feature into basically almost being the the main gameplay mode for a lot of players okay um, I think I've discussed this game enough in terms of the options and the features you know available accessible through the menu so let's play a quick game uh, so I obviously have the Raptors the Canada's only team national team of Canada basically but I'm probably just try to uh, choose the teams randomly so since I'm using an Xbox controller for PC I'm going to use a right trigger and hold it for a few moments and release it and that's going to the team I'm going to play all right here we go I'm gonna close my eyes all right I'm gonna start right now Pacers oh my goodness a 2010 version which is uh, another great team from last season um, all right, well, I mean, you can have everything. So I drew the short end of the stick. All right. Let's see, the opponent is going to be... Oh, just pushing my left trigger here. Stop. Oh boy. Spurs. Maybe I should play the Spurs. Why not? Um, uh, well, I'm off for challenge, so I'm gonna play Pacers, but... Going to be pasted. Going to be pasted. Seriously. Wow, Tony Parker and Tim Duncan against Danny Granger, well future all-star. Murphy, I don't know about him. So now that here, right? Conseco, what is it Conseco? Conseco Fieldhouse. The Pacers Nation is definitely coming out in droves to support their team. Although it's only five minutes per quarter game going up against Spurs. TJ Ford. Bro Hebert. Well, okay. I mean, back then, I guess they were not as good, but. Ice cold, huh? I hope Duncan stays ice cold in this game. Because I cannot handle him and Tony Parker at the same time. Alright, so let's try to tweak a few of the settings here. Um. 
I don't know why I, I set the preferred position to a shooting guard. I'm just controlling my body here. And what else? The camera. The camera doesn't stay kind of selected, so I think this is one of the bugs that didn't get ironed out. I think they released only one patch for this game, I don't know. So I prefer this 2K camera perspective the most because the in terms of controls, it seems more attuned to that one-to-one -one motion that I like in this kind of game that requires precise control because if you press up, the player goes up in the perspective at least and I think this particular camera supports that gameplay the best. Uh, I like also the broadcasting yeah, broadcast camera option as well. This is the camera I'm most used to, but for this game, I'm going to be using 2K, which is a default. I don't know why this game did not select it for default. All right, so let's try to, uh, oh, we can even choose signs. Okay, well, all right, let's go back to the game. When you play against this team, yeah, I don't really like them locking the camera to baseline just for that tip off. Scores from outside, loves the three-point shot, is much better at getting to the foul line now, and is an excellent defender. Okay. No one knew about this guy coming out of college. I think they knew, but they weren't quite sure that he would develop into the type of player that he's become. A high-octane offensive player. And so here is San Antonio. The Pacers making the shot. I like the broadcasting crew here, Steve Kerr and Marv Albert. They do a pretty good job in uh, relaying the details of the game. Takes it up. So I'm going to keep quiet for most of the time. Or maybe maybe I'm going to provide my own commentary as well, but sometimes I get a bit confused and uh, my delivery will not be as perfect or succinct because, because I'm playing a game while I'm trying to provide commentary. It's going to create a lot of static. Uh, just like that, so... That was pretty bad. Uh oh. On defense, in the end. I don't know what I just did, but hope oh, it didn't affect my game any. Dice, my goodness, this game is old. And here is Jefferson. Ranger covering. Oh my goodness. Amazing shot. Yeah, even Popovich is impressed. He's got a lot of game. He can defend. He looks like Kevin Spacey. plays, whether it's shooting the ball or passing it. He does a decent job on the glass. Okay. I think he's an outstanding teammate and team leader. Here's Hibbert. Oops. Just over three minutes left in the first. Oh my. Here's Parker. Sit in on wow, the Parker. I love his tenacity and aggressiveness on offense. He's lightning quick and loves to take it to the rim. I think Parker is the best player that the Spurs have. A very mercurial player. Oh, they barely recover from that failed Elio pass. And here is four. Covered by Parker. Okay, wow. Murphy, high post. Oh, I got blocked. Jeez. Oh boy. This is going to be a long night. Okay, where's TJ? Seems like TJ doesn't even want the ball here. Jack just runs to the end of the court without even asking for the ball for a point guard. Swing pass. And here is four. Covered by Parker. Yeah, every player has a different shooting form and something that you have to get used to if you want to be successful at this game. Even though they have a pretty really good rating, if you're not used to the form, then you'll be handicapped. Ooh, almost out of bounds. Let's go, Pacers. Oh, okay. Apparently, I am more familiar with Dunleavy's shooting form for some reason. Seems to be in a much more comfortable position with the Pacers. Agreed? Hand and glove fit with the Pacers. The style that the Pacers play in up tempo, 
Yeah, but now he's in middle kick box, I believe. Uh oh. Nice defense, but... Yeah, a lot of offensive rebounding, but... And also an excellent foul shooter. He's outstanding as an all around. There's definitely an option to use the playbook, but you have to use a manual passing, which I'm not really familiar with. And I don't know why. Well, I'm kind of complaining needlessly, but. Ah, Tibbert. I don't know why 2K Sports labeled the buttons and didn't just drop the pretense of this being a PC game. And placed. Oh my goodness. You know, Xbox controller buttons when the, you use manual passing and the like. They use some weird random, you know, placement or random letters for the buttons that I'm never really sure. I mean, they should just use Xbox base buttons. No good, and they don't get the three point play. All right, Watson, my goodness. All right, I guess this guy seems a bit of a dribbler. All right. This simulation type basketball is uh, something I like, but all right, got saved by Duncan's foul. But sometimes I just prefer to know buttons for like turbo buttons. That could definitely give you your leverage in certain situations, right? San Antonio on D. Um, you don't want to get. Oh boy. Alright. Get the ball. Ah. Uh, nope. Oh man, close. With the slight lead. Slight lead, only three point deficit for us. They need somebody to get in there, mix it up, and come away with a few extra possessions. That's the end of the first. Yeah, for the models on the models of players are pretty good. Some prefer the EA Sports take on the players, but I have no problem with uh, what 2K is doing right here and, you know, they even have that little sheen there to indicate they're sweating or they've been on the court for a few minutes. Oh, Sako T. This guy. Rathors recently signed him. I think it was a good pickup. Uh oh. Bonner. Oh my goodness. Oh, rolled out of the rim. My goodness, I was lucky there. My teammates are pretty dumb. They don't really cause their space between them and very talented scorers like Chinobly. I mean, maybe they're. Uh, oh, okay, this guy can dunk, right? Wow, what a dunk by Dunley, the other ball players. This turbo button does work sometimes. I think it, this guy's name is Fred Jones. I don't remember a lot of the players' names, but kind of does enter into my uh, my memory. Oh, okay. Yeah. Caught flat-footed. This guy, C.J. Watson. What kind of noise is that? Is that particular to Kinseco Fieldhouse or something? The arena where the Pacers play? I mean, it might disturb me. They might play that song when the other guys have the position on the ball, not when I am on offense. Okay, Manu. Oh my goodness. Oh, impossible. Yeah. Popovich obviously impressed. Matt Bonner. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, come on. Reward me at least. I was open. 
Six point game. Jeez. Damn. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh. Alright, well. Okay. Just passed to the point guard here. Okay, well. Here's Jones. It's blocked. A block and another bounce. Oh, okay. Some changes there for the Pacers. Uh, I thought I was foul there. I really love the graphics for this game. I mean, they have three referees. And here is four. That's a 24 ah. violation, and they'll turn it over. And they have some uh, cheerleaders, and the crowd seem to be pretty active and well animated. Although they seem to be a bit aggressive, overly aggressive in their Jones. cheering animation. Six point game. Oh. Here's McDice. McDice, okay. From the right nice block by Murphy. Alright, let's see if uh, Granger can do anything. Alright, pace the ball, right? Okay, good. All right, let's uh, score some points here. Come on, guys. And here is four. Here's All right, Granger for three. Great. Three. Yep, nice pass. Graphic-wise, this game really... I cannot fault this game for the graphics. It's really well done. Every aspect of the basketball game seems to be well rendered and it almost seems like I'm watching a game sometimes. Young Kenny barely hit it there but getting very very shallow. And uh, even the recent releases doesn't make a too you know, big a departure from what you see on the screen right now. It's really that good. I was really uh, awestruck by the fidelity of the graphics here. Nice. Oh, charging. Come on. For me, Tim Duncan is one of the greatest power forwards to ever play the game. His efficiency and his Yeah, well, I don't know whether he was inside that circle, but... He's a guy that I think would have been an outstanding player even if he was only 6'5". Because he can handle the ball, really? he can shoot it, he's got a tremendous Oh, Duncan is definitely one of the best players or best centers in the decade. What is Bonner trying to do here? Sinking his way to the three point line. Rub it in more, why don't you skip here? Rub it in more. Oh, Mr. Fundamental just missed a shot. Is it Karim Rush? My goodness. Uh, oh my goodness. Mismatch, but Parker defended well. To Rush. To the free throw line in Detroit Murphy. Oh, and Troy, Troy, to Troy. And Antonio leading. No wonder you are marked as three pointer guy when you are like almost Tomorrow. seven. Parker. Uh oh. Sinks oh, him. Parker. Six points for him. Look at him. Laughing his way down the court. And here is four. Probably would have. 21 seconds left in the second. Anyone, the shot clock is off, obviously. Gets in close. Here's four. Nice. Wow. He's just too quick for his man. Left him in the rear. Well no defended, but Ford was able to. And here is Ah, uh, okay. Yes, from downtown. They're ahead. Huh. To 12. The game is kind of starting to get away from me. Here comes TJ. Where's Granger? Granger? Oh, yeah, this guy. Granger backs him down. Come on, get in. Nice. Right? It counts, right? From the broadcaster booth, I don't think the basket was good, but I'm definitely sure it was good. So nice job by Granger for his um, buzzer beater. Oh, okay. So my guy is the first half performer. Cool. Well, you get this kind of spark from the reserves, and you've got a whole team ready to hustle and get after it in the second half. TJ Ford has started off well. Kevin, you know, it's pretty clear that he means business. I mean, he's focused, 
He's giving excellent effort, and he's really locked in on. TJ Ford the was a tonal raptor for a while, and I liked him as a player. He was a definitely a very quick and a more curious player when he was on top of his game, but. I think he suffered a really bad spinal cord injury because he jumped on top of L Horford trying to defend the basket and after that he I don't know he came back pretty strong. I think he's still playing. Oh almost out of bounds. That was pretty dangerous. A bit of a Okay, TJ Ford. Low block. Murphy. Oh, Murphy. That was open shot. What can you do, Murphy? What can you do? Wow. Okay. Gotta score here. Gotta score here. Okay, I can use playbook, but... Uh... I don't know what I was trying to do here. Maybe um, I made a mistake. Get out! Get out! Ah. Uh, yeah. Not doing too well. Ah, oh, the mascot is in the way. Get out. Oh, boy. Oh, got the ball. Nice. Got foul. Yeah, so you're gonna have to get the breaks where they come, and uh, Duncan doesn't seem too pleased there. Okay, thanks, Cheryl. Eyebrows all front row. <laughs> Hipper looks a bit dopey. I think Raptors drafted him, but probably traded him to Indiana or some player. I don't know. I don't really remember. Oh, that trade went down, but ouch, that was pretty bad. Hibbert, Kevin, played four years at Georgetown, and he clearly is a late bloomer. As a matter of fact, his improvement from his freshman year at Georgetown to his senior year off the chart. He still doesn't look good, he's not aesthetically pleasing, but his body is better, he's getting up and down smoother and quicker, and he's a guy with a nice touch. This big man is going to be more than effective and productive going forward. He's gonna be a solid oh, I know what I'm trying to so do. It. I know what I'm doing there. I was trying to uh, do an alley oop by mistake. Okay. Nice. So Granger is a good shooter. And Roy Hibbert is a bit of a late bloomer in the NBA as well. After he signed a big contract, people kind of questioned his resolve and his toughness. Uh, but. He definitely came through and become an all-star last season. Was very instrumental in bringing the Pacers in, I think, conference finals with the Heat. Oh, that was a bit of an AI mistake. I know Popovich will not be pleased there. He will be uh, definitely take him out the next chance he can get. Yeah, this particular music. Maybe the arenas have the particular unique DDs and doesn't definitely help me in trying to play this game. Kind of annoying. Foster, nope. He's not going to be my scoring option. Where's Granger? Yeah, this guy. Nope. Oh boy. I have to rely on some player. Ah, oh, Mason. He's got nine. He can't be stopped. He's having a party nope, out there. No, he cannot be stopped because he's playing a bad defense. Four to the win. Here's Dunn leaving. Jim Duncan with the lead. Open shot. Shocking how wide open he was. Yeah. Even more shocking that he couldn't sink it. Blocked. Tries to save it. And it's nice save by Dunn Levy. So it's in the enemy. Nice. Nice. All right. Yeah, let's uh, make this count. Inside. Oh, Alright, almost but made it. Sekoti to, to the line. Yeah, it's a no brainer. You gotta stop the layup there. Make him earn his points from the line. True. Alright. Let's try to make this count. 
Yeah, I don't really like this camera shot. I don't know why they do this. This seems so weird. I mean, I chose that particular camera for a very specific reason, but it seems that they see fit to just it's just give me random perspective. That doesn't help me. Uh, my, my. San Antonio leading. Okay. Fred Jones. He's supposed to be guarding some other guy, you know, according to the arrows that show up, but it's man to man defense, so. Ah. Mason's killing me. He's got 12. And my teammates were just caught off guard. Alright, well, I was not really seeing the court well enough. Nice barrel. Oh, it's the first three. Okay. They're putting bodies on bodies and bodies on bodies. Yeah, they're winning training bodies. Right now. And here is Jefferson. Uh oh. Point game. Oh, this guy. Jones hits the reach in call. Reach in foul. foul. Okay. The foul to give, right? Cycle T is hands up, trying to, you know. And okay. Oh, I thought he was going to bowl for three. Ah. Uh, almost a three point opportunity. Almost a three point opportunity, yeah. Man, and as we were saying, they're doing a great job tough playing at San Antonio Spurs. Rebounding is a lot about blocking out and positioning, but it's also about timing and pursuing the ball. And you've got to do all of those things in order to come up with rebounds. That's a good point. He knocks down the first one. Manu is in at shooting guard. Yeah, you can s hear that there's a bit of a, you know, sort of skip between announcing the name and and basically commentating after they call the name, it's a bit of skip there, but most of the time the commentating is really fluid and I really like the job they did. Nice, and one. Okay, this is a replay, nice. Yeah, this is a true simulation of basketball, really realistic basketball. Kind of caught me off guard when I transitioned from NBA Live to this game. Good for the three point play. But I quickly got used to it and I mostly played my player mode. I wasn't doing too well, so most of the times it was in NBDL, but. Wow, that's really weird chant. Really weirdly recorded, almost a recording studio. Alright, that was overall pretty good defensive effort. Nine point game. Okay, you don't leave Granger open. Let's see if I can make him open once more. Alright, Granger for three. Or two, long two. Uh, very good, very good. Showcase of his offensive outburst. Popovich back then had a pretty full set of hair there. Tony Parker has played well. Six points and five assists. Well, Kevin, you don't expect anything less from a player with his ability. Big time. Oh man, Mason burned me time many times. Many times. Team Duncan was strangely uh, silent in the last quarter. But I bet he's gonna come back pretty strong here, especially when I make the game close. All right, myself getting a bit of stretch. Here comes TJ Ford. Yeah, it's really hard to penetrate in the lanes. Oh boy, four for three. No, uh, I guess he's not much of a three-point shooter. I don't really see that three-point like symbol beside his name. So, wow. Vision on display there. The pass led him perfectly to the basket. Yeah, but there was a guy right in front of him, and he just didn't. Here's Ford from close oh my goodness! Wow. All right, Tony Parker had a hand in there from the block. Um, 
Shouldn't the cheerleaders get out of the way? And here is four. Uh, doesn't matter. Here's Granger. Granger. Wow. Smooth shot. What a shot. I can't believe that one went down. When you're hot, I believe him. I believe that the shot went down. I believe in Granger. He was kind of hurt for the most of the last season for the Pacers. Nice. only his first giveaway for the game. Jones it. Nice, great. They narrow it to five. Jones was in a really good position where they had really easy put back, not put back, really laying in. Kind of getting confused by basketball terminology. And here is Jefferson. Jefferson. Okay. Uh oh, come on, someone help me. Six seconds to shoot. He's done a great job, Clark, of controlling the ball. Boy, he sure has, Kevin. I mean, focus and quality ball handling. Very what are they impressive. talking about, really Jefferson? Had a positive impact on his team with that kind of work. Oh, Three almost lost the ball there. The ball. Almost lost handle. Jones taps in. Six seconds to shoot. Granger. Ah. Uh. it in, and that's his ninth rebound thus far. Well, Duncan definitely showed up on the defense event. Ninth rebound already in five minute quarter. Here's Jefferson in close. Oh, well, so close damn. But he drew the foul and he'll get yeah, I like the models. I can definitely down. recognize players' faces. Don't maybe. And some good amount of fouls and hopefully misses. I cannot see whether he made it or not. I mean, it's pretty weird. Oh, miss, miss, miss. Miss! Uh, okay. So Pacers do have some three-point shooters. I definitely should make use of them. And they do make things easy for me. Wow. Nice. Don't even has a thing for some reverse dunks here in this game. Oh, didn't know that he had that kind of hops. Oh, well, he's a tall guy, so... Five minutes. Well, I don't know whether this game is going to be any closer. Ranger with the rebound. Ranger with rebound. Oh my goodness, dangerous pass. Ranger for three. Uh, no. Looked good to me, but... Yeah, nice defense, nice defense. I had it right there in, right in front of the circle. The first time I tried it too. Yeah, Duncan definitely helping his teammates. Ah, this seems like Kenseko Fieldhouse or I don't know whatever arena that the Pacers are playing in. I have the crowd just going crazy. That doesn't sound like it. Oh! Oh my God! I pressed this uh, button called Clutch, and if you press the pass button at the same time, you basically, uh, whatever situation it is, you do the LEO and I uh, accidentally press the pass button instead of, uh, you know, trying to do some dribble moves. Nice block. That's a kind of revenge for the last time that he scored on me. Despite, uh, oh man, they, look how quickly they close out the lanes. I need some uh, okay, Jones. Oh boy. Long two. Uh, oh my goodness. Blocking foul that time. Come on. I did the same kind of move. One was charging foul, one was blocking foul. Man, sometimes this can get as infuriating as the real NBA games. Uh, well, it's an 8-point game, so... Yeah, I rely too much on Granger, it seems. Oh, come on! Oh, he got the ball back. My goodness, that was lucky. Come on, get fouled! That's not a foul. So far, it's been a challenge. He's been unable uh, to get it going here in the fourth. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's you know, make this respectable. Let's keep it within 10 points. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I got blocked. Alright. Okay, so hit the rim, so fresh fresh clock. Hit the ball. Uh, oh my goodness, this tipped off passage is crazy. Ranger for nice hook. Inside scoring, outside scoring, Granger can do everything. I mean, just to think that if they had Granger services, when they're uh, a healthy Granger at that, when they're uh, battling Miami in the conference championship. Ah, the dagger. Way to close out an opponent. Ah. Kevin, I think we're done here. Yeah. The Pacers, with time running out on oh, at least they kept it within 10 points, right? Granger with the ball. Well, other player than Granger had the last ball, and uh, let's make it respectable. Down low. Jones. Jones for ah uh, well. Yeah, Jones was probably was not that much of a scoring threat from the outside, but hey, this guy, I remember, it's like a have a sloped back there. I don't know why. Is the Jordan Brand player of the game? Yeah, Tony Parker definitely played his heart out. Well, he was the initiator and the playmaker for their offense, Kevin. He kept his head up. Yeah, this is one of the bugs, graphical glitches that you know 2K didn't think it was uh, worthwhile, worth their time to fix. Time for us to say goodbye for Clark Kellogg. Well, you know, yeah. Uh, I lost the game, um, unfortunately, but I hope that I showed you enough of the game to. Give a pretty good overview of this game and demonstration of a you know pretty good and realistic basketball simulation. So yeah, definitely play the game it is Tony Parker's. Very balanced scoring and stat shit here. And you can access some G moment. Probably the highlight reel. Yes, it is. Bonner scoring from mile away. Yeah, that was the G moment of the game there. Okay. The game reel. Yeah. Now maybe it's a reverse dunk and the three pointers and. Oh, even that. Okay, cool. So the game keeps a pretty good track of all the important events of the game. A Jones signature highlights. Okay, so pretty good end game feature, end game interface to show you where all the scoring and uh, performance of certain players. Ranger definitely was a high scorer. Yeah, definitely like to play him. The main threat for the Pacers. And how about the team stats here? Yeah, I didn't really shoot great. 36%. My goodness, I really need to spend some time to get uh, familiar with the controls if I'm ever to be any respectable in this game. I mean, just playing a default difficulty, so. Alright, so that's going to be the end of the Let's Play and also the end of the series of the sports games I like to showcase. This is basically all the sports games I have accumulated or bought over the years. And I hope that I, you know, gave you entertainment and insight into the development of uh, new games as time went on uh, through the 90s, especially in the basketball game area. And yeah, hopefully uh, I'm going to come back with a new game or a new series of uh, specifically themed games uh, to continue my let's play and uh, thank you for your viewership and until next time i return with a new game or series please stay tuned i didn't realize that there was actually a pickup game option in this nba blacktop mode Basically blacktop meaning like it's the kind of court that you can see in the playgrounds across the United States in the urban setting and what have you. Um, so I'm going to play one-on-one -on -one basically and then see if I can actually choose
some oh celebrities how do you know all right so let's see oh kanye west i know him i know kanye west and against who maybe i'm against lebron james how about that kanye west versus lebron james and see who wins yeah let's see i'm gonna play as kanye west and see how, what kind of skills that he has whether he can ball Hits the ball first, so alright. Oh wow, okay. So he's a pretty good dribbling skills. A pretty good knowledge of the game. Oh wow. Mr. West. I'm surprised. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Not good. Not good at all. Uh oh. Alright, go easy on me Lebron. Uh, okay. I never knew that Lebron was that tall. My goodness. Just seeing uh Oh, he actually almost got a block there. But in comparison with the height, you know, pitting him against Kanye West definitely shows the kind of uh, physique that Lebron Lebron has. I mean he's a great train. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a massacre. Alright, just try to steal this time. Nice, nice. Trying to clear the ball here. Okay, no matter, he was already outside of the three-point line anyways. Boy. Alright, let's try this one. One, Let's try again. Yeah. Oh, almost got it myself open there, but... Oh, wow. Alright. Ah, oh, almost... Got myself open there, but... My, uh, no way of stopping LeBron. I guess this is kind of, um, I was half thinking that maybe Kanye is going to have some kind of abilities to balance this thing out, you know, but this being a simulation basketball. Wow, right over top of his outstretched hand. Yeah, this being a, you know, simulation of a pretty realistic basketball, I guess, and my hopes were kind of unfounded, thinking that Kanye can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with LeBron James. And uh, to add salt to the wound, uh, some other guys... Get the ball! Oh, maybe it was a foul. Hey, actually, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, the foul doesn't count here. Alright, so this is going to be a long stretch of dominance by Kanye West. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, wave me the flag. You can do it, Kanye. Oh boy. Okay. You know, don't worry, Kanye. You can probably school me with your basketball acumen. Wow, that that was pure heart, folks. That was pure heart. Nice. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> some of uh, Kanye's. Basketball prowess here has been exaggerated. Nice. Kind of half thinking that there will be a Kim Kardashian somewhere in the audience watching him, watching Kanye play ball with the LeBron. Come on. Oh my goodness, come on, LeBron. That's just not fair. Seems like Kanye is trying to hold on to dear life and just pull on the jerseys, but yeah, advancing the ball to make Kanye West run all the way back to get the ball. All right, nice foghorn. Oh, 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 get the ball! Oh my God! Ah. Oh. What happened there? Man, if Lebron just basically starts up like that after getting the ball all the time, then I have no choice. Here, get the ball, Lebron. It's your ball. I think that's kind of a bug. Alright, gotta be ready. Ah, man. 
So I believe this, this game is going to go up to 21, which uh, it doesn't really give me a lot of chance. Oh, hey! Gee, he missed the dunk there, wow, surprising. So Kanye can definitely make most of the situation here. I'm just uh, going crazy with my controller, thinking that maybe I can pull the run. Damn. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That was my last hope, really, for Kanye to come back. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna pass the ball. Hey, run. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna dunk the ball on me. Oh, got the ball. Nice. This is going to be the start of the greatest comeback ever. Uh, how is Kanye's three point shooting skills? Oh, I got blocked there. Man. Alright, I have to stay up at least. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. That is game point. Alright, what should I do? I just go all the way back. Nope, you're not gonna score that on me. Alright. Oh! Alright, gotta be careful here. Oh man, he does definitely uh, try to steal the ball. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what do you expect? Nice! I just try to rush and leave him in the dust. Nope, didn't work there. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. He's stuck. Oh my. Oh no. No. Well, that's it, folks. Kanye versus LeBron. So Kanye made a barren attempt to come back, but yeah, he was kind of matched. Alright, so that's it for 2K10, NBA 2K10. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching.